Hello, today I'm going to be describing my experiment to turn a regular cheap air conditioner that I bought for $150 from an air conditioner into a heat pump. Now what a heat pump does is that it draws air from the outside and it uh, pumps it literally into your house as high temperature heat. Now an air conditioner is basically uh, a, a, a heat pump, but normally it uh, pulls in air from the outside and pushes cold air on the inside. But I thought, well, what if I just turn my air conditioner around? Would it then work like a heat pump and pump heat into my house? So that's what I did. So I took my air conditioner, which is behind me, and I basically turned it around. So now it's blowing the cold air outside and blowing hot air inside. So let's take a look at what I did there. So here I have my air conditioner which has been mounted backwards. The control panel is actually now facing outward. And uh, you'll notice I mounted this air conditioner in normal slide window. Normally you can't do that. Normally you have to have windows that slide up and down. But I found a uh, storm glass window which I installed um, on top of it, on top of the screen, and I've been and I used some uh, packing tape to secure all the connections. And uh, you want to use this Scotch shipping tape. It's really the best tape um, for doing things. And um, when I had it mounted in backwards, the first thing I noticed is that. It wouldn't actually turn on the compressor because the compressor turns off at about 62 degrees. So if the temperature is less than that, then the air conditioner simply won't work. So what I had to do is I had to go into the control panel, open it up, and actually uh, uh, bypass the thermostat that's on the inside. So I had to go and bypass that. But once I did that, then, um, when I turned on the air conditioner and it was reasonably warm outside, uh, you could actually feel warm air coming out of the back. Uh, and it would raise it by about uh, maybe 15 degrees or so. So if you started out like uh, 65 degrees, you know, you might get uh, maybe 85 degrees or maybe even 90 degrees out the back, which is, which is fairly re remarkable. And uh, now the reason for doing this is that the air conditioner actually doesn't take up much power. This particular air conditioner is an 8,000 or actually 5,000 BTU air conditioner, and it only takes uh, maybe about maybe about 400 watts running. And uh, I have a little kilowatt meter here, which I use to measure uh, electricity usage, and that can tell me how many watts and what the total amount of power is. And yeah, it only takes up about 300 to uh, 400 watts. And uh, so I was wondering, well, how much power is that? How much heating am I getting for my 400 watts? So I compare that against the standard 1500 watt uh, oil-filled radiator and found that the air conditioner running as a heat pump could heat the room about twice as fast as the 1500 watt radiator. So that means it's putting out something close to the equivalent of 3,000 watts of power for maybe only 400 watts. And uh, that's the main reason why a heat pump is so much more efficient than your standard resistance heater because it's actually taking heat from the outdoors and putting it in your house. It basically concentrates any heat it can find outside and puts it in your house. So. If you can get 3,000 watts worth of heating for only, say, 300 watts, then that's, that's... After I fixed the thermostat, the second problem I noticed is that a lot of water comes out the back of an air conditioner, especially when it's set up in this heat pump manner. And when you would turn it on, uh, literally a uh, flood of water would come out the back. So uh, one thing you need to do is that you needed to... I needed to drill a small hole on the bottom side here, um, where the fan goes, there's a small hole right there. And then I have to put a bucket underneath the air conditioner to catch all the water that comes in. Um, and actually there's usually a fair amount of water. 
So that's the second problem you have to deal with. The next problem you have to deal with is how to control the temperature because basically this thing has been wired to just turn on and there's no thermostat or anything to try and control the heat. So uh, what I did is I actually built this little box here. It's got uh, an AC outlet. It's built out of a standard uh, outlet box. And what I did is I salvaged a thermostat from uh, one of those small ceramic heaters. So I was pretty sure it could take the voltage. And so I stuck that in there, attached it to a cord, and uh, so now I have basically a thermostat for for the air conditioner. So I can plug it in, I can set the temperature, and uh, it will turn on when it gets too cold. And uh, that works fine, um, except when, when it's fairly warm. Now I have found that uh, this this heat pump setup works uh, well until about. 52 degrees maybe, but below 52 degrees uh, you'll get a big problem with the uh, coils icing up and then basically it doesn't work after that. So um, I also tried some other things which is, you know, I have a timer here and I set it so it only turn on for like, it only, it only has a sensitive, sensitivity of half hour increments so it would turn on for half an hour and then be off for an hour to defrost. And uh, Still, though, it really seems that below 52 degrees, uh, this is not that effective. But above that, uh, it pretty much uh, works pretty well as a heater. So let's go take a look at the outside. This is what the air conditioner looks like outside, mounted backwards. You see we have the controls on the outside. And this is what it looks like after about running for 10 minutes. Um, it's basically completely frozen solid and when it gets this way pretty much it really doesn't act like a heater anymore so that's what it looks like from the outside I tried all kinds of things to overcome this frosting problem like I put a parabolic uh, heater uh, right in front of it and I also tried pointing a heat lamp in front of it and uh, none of these things seem to actually work uh, so you just have to let this thing sit and uh, defrost before it'll work again when the temperatures are below 52 degrees. So uh, my conclusions would be that you can use your air conditioner as a heat pump uh, just not below 52 degrees or you can use it but it only works for about five to ten minutes before it completely freezes over and then it really doesn't do much for you. But if you do have warmer temperatures and uh, 52 is, is still pretty cold if you let your house get to that. Um, it, it can still save you, uh, you know, it saved me a fair amount of money so far. So uh, that's the conclusion to my experiment on turning an air conditioner that I got for 150 bucks into a heat pump.